the Emu Deck team has announced their brand new project. They're calling these the Emu Deck machines. It kind of looks like a certain console from the past, but I can't quite put my finger on it. But before that, if you like this video or any other video I make, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the good gospel of high tech low life really lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing well. So yes, it's basically a mini PC inspired by the Dreamcast. And apparently Russ from Retro Game Core helped as well. I'll be a tiny part. So let's talk specs because they have an entire spec sheet right here. There are actually two models you could get. The first model is the EM1, which is Intel based. The EM2, however, is AMD based. Some are shuddering at the thought of getting an Intel CPU, but this is not 13th or 14th gen. This is 12th gen. It's also based on their Alder Lake N series, which are made for NUX. And even aside from all of the Intel controversy, I definitely wouldn't pick this one up. It just runs games worse. You can even see on their chart, they have Hades listed as 60 FPS and a bunch of these other games that are not playable. It even has RPCS3 and Xenia listed as not playable on the Intel model. The AMD version itself is just overall superior. It'll perform substantially better, has better Wi-Fi, and has more RAM. And on top of all of these advantages, you can actually add a graphics stock to the EM2 model. And yes, according to their charts, it's a substantial graphics improvement. But that's not to say that there's no place for the EM1. The EM1 is quite a bit cheaper. In the US at least, the EM1 is $400, compared to the EM2 $775. This could be useful if, say, you wanted a box to plug into your TV to play older retro titles. And that's something we'll talk about in a little bit. But aside from the fact that you can add an additional graphics stock to your EM2 model, the hardware isn't that special. What makes the Emu Deck Machine initiative so special is the software. It'll be the first PC of any kind to ship with Bazite. For those not in the know, Bazite is a Linux distro designed to be run on consoleized PCs. Things like PC handhelds and mini PCs. The Bazite initiative is helmed by Kyle Gospinetich, aka Quarter Life, who I've been talking to since the very beginning. And yes, he says that's how you're supposed to pronounce his name. If you're familiar with your Steam Deck, and more specifically SteamOS, then you should be right at home with Bazite. It's a nearly one-to-one -one experience with SteamOS. And yes, while you could install Bazite on a Steam Deck, Bazite shines the brightest when you install it on other hardware, like the ROG Ally, or Legion Go, or perhaps a mini PC. If I had a mini PC, I would have installed Bazite and hooked it up to my TV. And yes, of course, Emu Deck is pre-installed. They also mentioned that it's automatic and zero config. This is an interesting prospect because in my experience with using Emu Deck, it hasn't exactly been automatic and no configuration. It's also doubly interesting given that it's using Steam UI. So when you say it's automatic, you mean I don't have to launch Steam ROM Manager? Well, according to this footage from the Emu Deck team, yes, that's exactly how it is. Heck, there's even a separate section for retro titles, which isn't something that's available on Emu Deck right now. But they say it will be coming to Emu Deck on your Steam Deck soon. This right here changes everything. And when this particular feature comes out on the Steam Deck and any other device running Emu Deck, I will test it out. And I'm sure it's going to be great. A literal game changer for all of the Linux distros out there that use Steam Game Mode as its UI. The EM1 includes the GameStar Nova Lite controller, which is like a $25 controller that I've never used before. And the AMD based EM2 can also come with this controller as well. But of course, there's an option to buy the EM2 without the controller, saving you a couple of bucks. Personal recommendation, I would buy it without the controller. You probably have a controller in your house somewhere. This is a very promising project. And of course, the physical design takes inspiration from one of the most underrated consoles of all time. I especially like the four USB ports in the front. You know what would be really cool though? 3D printing a piece of plastic that goes over the USB connector so it looks like you're plugging in an actual Dreamcast controller to it. But there are a lot of different questions. First and foremost, the ports in the back. What are they? The only other port that we know about is a USB Type-C port in the back. You would probably plug the graphics stock into the USB Type-C port, assuming it's of course USB 4. But what about some of the other ports in the back? What about an Ethernet jack? Is it at minimum gigabit? Like don't get me wrong, Wi-Fi 6 is pretty darn good, but a hardwired connection, you know, an Ethernet plug, will always be better. I'm assuming there's an HDMI port, but the big question is what type of HDMI port is this? And for those that 
want to plug this into a monitor? Will we also have DisplayPort? Or will this just be an HDMI only affair? There's also the matter of what type of Bluetooth connectivity we're getting. Yes, the listing doesn't mention Bluetooth, but there's no way a modern system will release without Bluetooth. One more thing, the Steam Deck OLED has a really cool feature where if you pair a controller to the Steam Deck OLED, and then put it to sleep, you can actually wake the Steam Deck OLED up with that same controller you paired to the Steam Deck OLED. Would that be a feature? Because if it was, it would instantly shoot this up to the top ranking. It would be the best mini PC out there for gaming, period. Could you get off of your couch and then turn the console on using the power button? Yes. But would it not be cool to wake the console up using your controller from sleep while you're sitting on your couch? That would be so cool. I know that most kids don't know what a CD or a CD drive is and that most PCs don't even come with a CD drive, but I am curious to see if that could fit like a Blu-ray drive or something in it. The prospect of actually playing like a PlayStation 1 game from disc, it sounds completely insane, but it might not be completely possible either given how Emu Deck is set up. And finally, there's also the matter of the price. The price is about in line with other mini PCs that are fully featured. But of course, if you pre-order from them, you'll get an early bird discount. And given the Emu Deck team isn't like this big company that makes a lot of money, they might need this money to actually make the product real. And of course, the other big question is the dock. We don't know the price of the dock, but the dock will probably be at least as expensive as the EM2. That's just the way these things go, especially with dedicated graphics. Another question people have is when will this product ship? And according to their timeline, probably sometime in December of this year, assuming nothing bad happens. Will I be reviewing this mini PC? Well, I certainly want to. I also want to review the dock as well. The Emu Deck has a long road ahead of them. They've done great with Emu Deck, but making hardware and shipping it and selling it is a different ballpark entirely. Best of luck to the Emu Deck team, and I hope that they actually do get to make the product of their dreams. Because this is certainly a console of my dream cast. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.